that's the uh, that's the sped up version of um, <clears throat> of uh, the Argus Hunt song, and uh, um, you know I I don't usually care much for uh, guitar solos in um, in death metal. Um, I mean I really don't. I guess I care for them at all in uh, in death metal. Um, I mean, it's to me it only really makes sense in like uh, in like thrash and thrash music to have guitar solos. Um, I mean, I think that the Argos will incorporate them really well. Uh, you know, especially for like um, for a melodic death metal band and. Uh, and they're they're like they're the only good melodic death metal band I think. Um, uh, but I mean I guess I don't really listen to that much death metal anyway, um, except for like some of the, like some of the, like the classic stuff like uh, like uh, Autopsy and then some of the kind of like like uh, precursor and like pioneer I guess black metal to you know like uh, like Blasphemy. It's kind of like. It's kind of like a death metal band in a way, I guess. Um, but like, uh, <clears throat> you know, one thing about like all these solos is like, you know, they're not like actually improvising, which is like, um, you know, like solos have such, a, you know, traditional root in in uh, improv, and like, um, you know. I don't think there's really too many death metal bands or any metal bands for that matter that are actually, you know, improvising over, you know, over the, over the changes, you know, they're just, they're, they're all written out solos, which is, I don't know, it, it loses a lot of like the kind of principal reasonings behind why solos were invented in the first place. And like, um, you know, it it dates back uh, pretty far. I mean, it, I mean, obviously, like improvising, improvising in music dates back like really, really, really far. Um, you know, but like for these purposes, I'm it. I'm gonna you know, in modern music, it like it dates back to uh, classical, which is you know Mozart and Beethoven and Bach. They all would improvise a lot in their music. A lot of people don't know that for some reason. A lot of people don't know that a lot of their music has sections of it where it's just all, it's, you know, written out on the notation, it says to improvise. And it'll say, you know, improvise in key of E flat or something like that. And like, um, <coughs> and you know, like that's also how they would write a lot of their music was, you know, because they're geniuses and so a lot of their music was just them improvising and then you know they had the these crazy memories that could just remember everything they did and go and write it down like uh you know like Mozart would go or would go to like um to like these chorales where they would have you know the where they would have like six seven part harmonies of all these people singing <clears throat> for like an hour they'd be singing for like an hour and then he, Mozart would go home and, you know, a few hours later, and he would go and write down every single part that he heard just from memory. Like, you know, it's it's pretty insane. But anyway, I'm getting way off. Um, so, like, yeah, I mean, I think that, like, there's very few bands that kind of can do the whole um, soloing thing and not, and not, um, come across as just like completely masturbatory, you know, like uh, you know, so many solos and and I mean, and also so much so much uh, noise music and like noise jamming too. But I mean, solos, you know, they come off as just like a big jo session. Like it's just it's just it's just like so masturbatory, and you know, most of the time I don't really think it's appropriate at all. Like and I think like in like thrash, like thrash punk and and uh, and even in like black thrash, like um, you know, like there's been there's there's like Abigail songs where like you know, especially um, you know, I reviewed one on my blog, the one of uh, the uh, 
their fast kill split where they had where Abigail had the session guitarist who did like a killer solo over it. And, you know, it sounds really good for something like that. It sounds really good for like the soundtrack to riding your motorcycle across the desert. But like, you know, otherwise it's just it's just, you know, it's just way, way, way too masturbatory and, and just doesn't and very, very rarely translates very well um, in death metal. And um, I mean, I, I'm not really want to talk because I don't know that much about death metal. Um, but like, uh, I do think that that Argos Lint do have very, very good solos. Um, they de they definitely like th like kind of like switch up the mood. You know, and, and give it like a real good like atmosphere, like when they go into a solo, and also you know they're they're so rooted in blues, in like you know not a in like a very non you know kind of like 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 uh, Dimebag Daryl way, you know, or something like that. You know, they've got like like this very sort of unique bluesy sound to them, and um, I think that lends itself really well to going into going into solos. But, um, yeah, so that was my, uh, sped up, I guess, version of the, <coughs> of that. And I was using, um, if you're interested, I was just using this piece of shit for, uh, the, uh, the drums. Um, I know it ended up making it sound more like a hip-hop song than anything else, but, uh, that's all right.